lot of people don't see it. They think, you know, starvation is in Africa, or parts of Asia, or South America, or Latin America. It's here. Because of the economy today, things are really hurting. People are hurting, and I'm seeing more and more seniors on our food program, more and more people that need it. Hunger is a reality, and a lot of people don't know that, but it is. So many people have to choose between paying their bills and eating, putting gas in their car to go to work and eating. And we help to fill that gap. We throw so much food away in this country. 96 billion pounds of food is thrown away. If we could rescue 5% of that, 5%, there'd be no hungry people in Michigan or across the country. The mission of Forgotten Harvest is very simple. We rescue surplus perishable food and we take it to where it's needed most, to the soup kitchens, shelters, and pantries throughout metropolitan Detroit. Forgotten Harvest is not a food bank. We're a food rescue operation. And what makes us so different is we have a very different business model. We run a fleet of over 20 refrigerated trucks that are on the road constantly, just in time rescuing that fresh food and taking it to where it's needed most. Rescue food, let me give you an example of a, a caterer who's having an event for 500 people and only 400 show up. And you've got this wonderfully prepared food that's sitting in large trays and it's gourmet. With our expertise in moving food safely, we can take that surplus food, put it in the refrigerated trucks, bring it here, put it in our coolers, and then divvy it up into individual or family packs and then get that to the hungry people. The mobile pantry concept actually came from rural parts of the country where it was going into uh, rural areas that had no agencies to serve those areas. And we realized that we have exactly that same issue here in Metro Detroit. We set up basically a farmer's market and we allow residents who have been registered with the volunteers and they know that on Wednesday at 12 o'clock Forgotten Harvest is arriving in that parking lot. A farmer's market is set up and they walk around they pick up the bags of potato. They'll pick up a big thing of hamburger and maybe some steaks. They'll pick up some bakery, then they gotta go home and feed their family for a few days. Well, a lot of food pantries handle um, canned goods and box goods, but it's hard to get perishable food into the communities. We pick up fresh produce that is in excellent condition. It's a lot of vegetables and fruit and meat that's been frozen to preserve it but it's all fresh and it's anything that a grocery store has that they say, you know, this has a couple of days of life left on it, but uh, we know we aren't gonna sell it in time and so they donate it to us. Look, tomatoes, these are perfect. If I'd go into the store, I'd probably pay about four bucks for these. They were in surplus, we rescued them and they're gonna go to a family today. The quality of food that we receive here from Forgotten Harvest is excellent. We receive a lot of organic vegetables, potatoes, a meat that really help to serve, put food on our residents' tables. If there wasn't a Forgotten Harvest, I don't know what we would do. I don't know what the people in the community would do. I don't know what the government would do to uh, accommodate the amount of people that are hungry and they just need, they need our services. The soup kitchens that we deliver to depend on our trucks showing up. They know that if it's a Monday or a Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever the day of the week, we're supposed to be there about three o'clock. And so they're planning their evening meals around that truck showing up. I think it does make good business on many fronts. Um, I think our colleagues, uh, our employees are very proud to be a part of an organization that gives back and helps in the community. And we're doing our part to make it a better community for all. We want it to be as smooth as possible, as easy as possible. We come out, we rescue your food, and all you have to do is just tell us where it is. Our drivers go in, pick it up, put it on the truck, and we're gone. Forgotten Harvest makes it so easy. I mean, the whole process is, is uh, really turnkey. There's no transportation costs. They come to your store. All you have to do is have the product collected and they really handle it from there. It's really no expense to do it. They really make it easy for us. The business model uh, says it all for, for the food donor. Uh, if you don't donate the food, you have to throw it in your dumpster, 
You have to pay your dumpster company to come and unload that. You pay them to travel to the landfill. You pay the landfill fee. You throw it away. With us, we come, we pick it up, you get a tax deduction, and even better yet, you help feed hungry people. Mass Generality Produce, as uh, part of its own initiative, created a uh, green team. And part of that green team mission is to reduce its carbon footprint. And so instead of filling up the landfill down the street here, we uh, participate in donating product. If it doesn't go to Forgotten Harvest, unfortunately, it may go to a landfill. Food donors uh, don't have to worry about liability anymore because of the Bill Emerson Act. And what it does, it, it, it protects donors from being sued. And as long as they're giving us food in good faith, they're always protected by the government. It's really important for us to help in the community. And right now in Michigan, there's so many people in need that really the obligation to really give back in those communities where we do business, uh, we really feel is important for us as a, as a corporation. We deliver all of our food free of charge. We, that is part of our mission. Um, our revenue thus comes from donations and we use those donations to rescue this food which costs money to rescue because of the trucks and all that. We deliver our food and we don't send a bill along with it. At the end of the day it makes our community a better place for all. Forgotten Harvest cannot operate without the generosity of others. We need the financial support to maintain our facility, to operate the distribution center, to keep the trucks on the road. Because we're so efficient, because for each dollar we feed six people, it's a simple math model. The less donations we get, whether it's corporations or foundations or individual, the less people we feed. Without the financial support that we receive, frankly, our trucks can't run. Um, and when our trucks don't run, people don't eat. It's a simple concept, but it's a concept that's needed. And even though it's simple, it plays a major role in people's life because it feeds them keeps them from being hungry, and, and eating is one of the essentials of life. 